Today I'm using the new Memory Box Tulip Stems die and I'm going to use the faux letterpress technique with it. The mask, I'm going to use that later. We're going to start with watercolor paper. This is Strathmore Cold Press, 140 pound, 9 by 12. It's a, the 300 series. I'm going to use two pieces. I just cut a sheet into four. Stick those together. You kind of need the heaviness for when your lines are so close together when you're doing this. So I'm going to put some ink on the die and I just want it on the blades. don't want to get it all over the blade, just on the blades. I'm going to pick that up carefully, trying not to touch the ink. I'm going to put it right side down onto the watercolor paper. Tape it into place. And then I'm going to run it through the big shot. I have it set on tab one with a cutting mat, the tan embossing mat, which is from Spellbinders. And I'm going to put my dye and the watercolor paper in there. Another cutting plate and run it through. some ink lines where normally it would have cut. We have ink in there. So get this big shot out of the way. And now I thought it'd be fun to put some color in there. I didn't especially like it, just plain. So I cut a mask with the dye. Then I'm going to lay the die back over the top and add some color with the little sponge dauber and just pounce and swipe in some ink to get some color. Kind of stuck on purple tulips lately. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm don't even try to grow flowers. I'm not good at growing anything, much to my dismay. Although I do have one plant. I have a Norfolk Island pine that I've had for 20 some years and I just read the other day that it's one of the hardest plants to kill. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Just keep inking it up. And when you're making your card and doing this, you can use, you know, more colors so you have varying shades of purple and get more purple in some places than other places. And if you used, you know, a smaller dauber or like a makeup sponge kind of eyeliner type, what is that stuff called? Um, you could, you know, get finer lines. So I've did the tulips. So now I'll take that off and work on the leaves a little bit. Just kind of working to, I'm not taping the stencil down, but you could. It's pretty easy to keep it where you want it. I 
cut is peeled paint and this is pine needles and the purple was dusty concord distress ink I'll just use a couple grains move over to that stem the stems are harder to get that ink in there I was thinking about using a marker oh there maybe that'll work better it in. But since this is watercolor paper, you could watercolor it too. About any of your inking methods would work. See what we have. Some tulips. Just a little bit different method. If you wanted the white not to be so defined up there, just put your stencil back on there and pounce on a little bit more purple so the white is more lavender ish. Not quite as defined. I can't decide which way I like it. But we'll know when I get the card finished. Well, I guess I can't take that purple back off, can I? <laughs> well, thanks for looking. Talk to you later.